Hey you guys, here we are back with another fun and color field project. We are using these foam hey, sheets guys, to make so super cute statement earrings. So I already showed you what you're gonna need, Dollar Tree. I'm also going to, instead of gluing these to a back, I'm gonna glue them to one another so they'll stay really light. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. So you're gonna need some eye pins. So that way you'll be able to connect your fish hook. You're also gonna need some jump rings. So I'm gonna grab those right quick. And I feel like all my jump rings have gone into hiding. I'm like, where did all my jump rings go? I mean, I have made a lot of jewelry, so maybe I've just used them all. But I'm gonna have to go hunt those down. So that's what you're gonna need, some fish hook ear wires or whichever ones you like to use. And I'm also gonna add the um, diagonal mirror pieces that I didn't get to use the last time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick these all together because what's really cool is they're, they're stickers, right? So I'm gonna do my best to avoid using glue if at all possible. And we're gonna make a really quick pair of earrings. You can make tons of these. Like I said, you can make them to sell, you can make them to keep, whatever you decide to do with them, you can put dangles from them. So let's just be inspired as we go along and get to making some really cool statement earrings using foam stickers. Okay, awesome. So I had opened these before, so we're just gonna reopen those. And what I did was I stapled the package back together. So when they're being stored away, they're not getting all over the place, you know, cause then I don't like unorganized supplies, but you wouldn't be able to tell that from where I keep the supplies. So <laughs> you can pour these all out and then just decide on, you know, how you want your earring to look, what colors you want to go with. Super, super cute. I mean, look, there's hearts, there's circles. There's, what is that? A trapezoid maybe? There's diamond shapes and just all kinds of stuff. So you can make so many different things, so many unique colors. And so I bought this super cute shirt from the thrift store. I'm thinking that I wanna make something to go along with that. I mean, I don't think it's really gonna match it perfectly, but who said things have to match, right? So they're just these really soft um, foam pieces and they each have their little sticker background. So I'm just sitting some stuff out to see kind of what speaks to me and what design I want to put together. Some of them are still stuck together. Look at the cute little stop sign shape. <laughs> so I like these. I don't think I want to use too many of the triangles, maybe just some of them because I don't, I do like square edges, but um, I don't know, so many different things to choose from. So just start laying it out, figure out what you want your design to be. I'm gonna sit some of those to the side. Oh look, we have some yellow stickers. We have some little, some blue hearts. These things are so light. So what's really cool is these earrings are gonna be really light. Something else I thought about doing was taking a black magic marker and tracing along the edges to see what that would look like. So maybe we'll do two different pair. I'm not sure, but I don't even know why that idea came to mind, but I felt like because the shirt that I have, I'm gonna go get the shirt. So before you say it, I already know it in no way matches anything that's on this table, right? <laughs> but nevertheless, it's what inspired me or gave me the idea. I have no idea why, but then there's also a polka dot one over there. It's a black and white polka dot print. So what it is, is this is like a little, um, like a, what do you call it? Like a little shawl. So when you put it on, there's no buttons or anything. It just opens up, almost like a robe. So I'm throwing that over there right quick. <laughs> but anyway, so that's my inspiration for this pair of earrings. But there are no purple pieces in here. So I'm one of those people that lives my life that things don't have to match. I mean, if you want them to, they can. But I march to the beat of my own drum, my own rhythm, and why? Because the Lord said we're fearfully and wonderfully made, right? So that means that we're all gonna think differently and be inspired by different things. So what I love too is there's two different shades of pink in here and I'm rambling, so we're gonna get started kind of putting something together. So, so challenging to decide. So let's start, what, what will make it easier is decide on let's say your colors. So I'm gonna half this down the middle right here, let's do that. So let's half it down the middle. That way we know we're making two pairs of earrings, right? We are, I mean, not two pairs, but we're making a pair of earrings. Let's make sure that we have the same items on, I'm gonna dump these out over here 
to the side. Let's make sure we have the same items on each side. So right, so we have two light colored hearts. We have two green stars. I'm bringing over a blue star. We have two blue stars. So that way when you're going down and you're putting things together, you're matching them up as you go along. I need one more pink heart. So I gotta go dig that out the bag. So we have a darker pink heart. We have a yellow circle. We have a green circle. So we have another blue circle. And what we're doing is we're just making sure we have even amounts of each thing on each side. There's a pink circle that matches a green trapezoid, so we gotta go grab another green trapezoid from out the bag. So we got a green trapezoid, we have two red hearts, and I think I wanna do another red heart. I don't know why the red stands out to me, even though I'm not a fan, it's my least favorite color, but let's pull that out. I'm gonna get rid of those red trapezoids, I'm not interested. We have a green triangle, and we have those pink diamonds don't match, so let's find a matching pink diamond over here. Let's see. So those match, let's get rid of that lighter colored one. Those two match. That all matches. Ooh, so let's keep the yellow stars. So let's put another yellow star over here. And let's do a yellow trapezoid. So you just gotta go through, I'm sorry, yellow stop sign. Go through putting your pieces together. Let's do a blue heart. Let's keep the green heart since we have it. Now look, this green heart has like a line or something on it or something going through it. So I'm not gonna use that one. Let's go grab another one. And this little stop sign, it has like a little dent in it up top, even though we could cover that up. Let's get a different one. Okay, so let's match that. So it's all coming together. So we need a pink stop sign to match over there. And then I'm gonna count them just to make sure they're adding up because I want them to be even. I haven't decided yet how I'm going to put them together, but I just know that they're gonna come out really cute. There's a blue stop sign, we want that. And let's move everything else off and see, I want I think I want the yellow triangles and then I need a green triangle. Looks like I don't have another green triangle, so we'll take that one off the table. Make sure we have everything that we need. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 22. So it's 22 pieces. So now we have everything put together. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna go put these back in the packaging so I'm not distracted by what's over there. Or I don't want it to get dirty either. So, so because all of these have stickers on the back, I was hoping to do this where I wasn't gonna need like a base or what have you, but I believe it's going to have to have a base only because it's going to need something to adhere to. So I have some card stock that I could use. And I also have, I'm just laying down these little mirrors to see what I think about them. I have some card stock I could use as the background, which I think will be really cute. Um, and it can show through, you know, the back and then I just have to cut the back, you know, cut it to fit however we want it to, to lay. But I want these to be really big and long earrings. So, let me run and get the card stock that we're gonna stick it to and let's see what that'll look like. Okay, you guys, so let me see if I can widen the screen out a little bit. No, it wouldn't do that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I have, I was gonna use some card stock. I don't know if you remember, I bought this card stock from Dollar General. I think it was like $4 and some change or $3.50. So I was gonna use a piece of card stock and glue and glue the earring bases down to that. And so then it was just gonna sit on there and I was gonna cut it out. But the only thing is, I felt like then the pink ones would kind of fade into the background and I don't want that. So what I'm gonna do 
is I'm gonna um, use the stickers as the front and the back. And so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and peel this piece off. And I'm gonna lay it down on the paper and I'll turn the camera down so it's visible as well. So now also what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put the eye pin on there. So I just stuck it that like that. So that way when the earring hangs and we go to put the jump ring on there, it's gonna hang and dangle that way. And you'll be able to see the foam pieces from the front and the back. And then hopefully this will mean I don't need any glue, right? So you wanna do two pieces of that. So let me go ahead and grab my other eye pin. And your eye pins already have the little preset loop that looks like an eye. Let me get another trapezoid, a blue one. I have another one in here, let's see. After I just cleaned it all up, now I gotta go through it again, okay. <laughs> so here it is, we're gonna put this one down on the bottom. And so I'm thinking about using some Elmer's glue. I don't wanna use the E6000. I'm trying to see if I can avoid using that today and not having to smell that. But if we need to, we will. So what I'm gonna do now is all I did was just press the eye pin into the trapezoid so we can start gluing stuff, not gluing stuff down, but sticking stuff down. And you wanna make sure that your eye pin, when you put it on there, that it's straight so everything lays really flat that way. And so now you're just gonna start putting the earring together now, just so you'll know. So from underneath the bottom, we're gonna need to go ahead and put another piece under there for everything to start sticking to and then adhering to. And I'm making this up as I go, so I'm having to figure this out as we go along. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is add another yellow piece to the bottom so that way this is creating the base for everything to stick to. And everything on the top is gonna to be able to stick to all these things on the bottom. So that's what we're doing. Now notice that this particular little eye pin is a little bent. So you wanna make sure to straighten your eye pins when you go to put them on there so your earrings hang you know, in the same direction. Just bend it with your finger, bend it back where it's straight. So as you put that down on there, luckily the sticky part of these things is forgiving. So we're creating a base for the earrings and that's what it's looking like from the other side. So look, from the other side, that's what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be really cute. So now you just need to put another piece under there as well. I think I'm gonna aim for like a circle. And again, I'm just making the design up as I go. I already kind of have it laid out over here. And as it relates to those mirror pieces, well, of course, I'm gonna have to glue those down, right? So, <laughs> look, the earring stuck to my finger. So these things have a really nice stick to them. But uh, what I was gonna say is, of course, I'm gonna have to use the E6000 glue or some other glue to glue those down. I may use super glue. I'm just trying to start weaning myself away from the E6000 because it just smells so toxic and I don't like that. Plus my husband complains about it and he's like acting like he's just gonna leave here because I make jewelry at the same table where he sits at to do his work. So I, got, I wanna make it where he's comfortable as well. So super cute. See, I mean, you could leave it right there and call that an earring, right? But no, these I'm all about statement jewelry. Everything is always gonna be about making a statement, right? And I just wanted to be long and huge and all that jazz. So. I'm sorry, y'all, my dog is like fussing today about his ball and I don't know what's going on with him. He's having a moment. So let's go ahead and put one more piece or a couple more pieces over here on the side. Be sure to be doing this upside down while you're putting them down here because what we're doing is that's the back of the earring, okay? Looking for one more green heart. If I don't have one, I'll use the blue heart because that's the back of the earring, so it's okay if they don't match perfectly. And not only that, who's gonna say, oh, you have a green heart and a blue heart, they don't match perfectly, 
right? Somebody probably would say that, but we're not gonna pay them any attention. Who needs that type of negativity, right? Well, I don't wanna use a blue heart only because that's blue right there. So let me see. We could just do a pink heart on the bottom. So taking the back off and then we're just putting it on the bottom. And so after I put two sides on here, so this heart and then one more thing on the opposite side, we're gonna start putting the top together and moving the earring forward over here. Now we could tape those down so they're not so sticky and our fingers aren't sticking to everything, but that would be too much light, right? I'm sure someone's gonna give me that idea, but I'm gonna keep going with it the way I have it. So, I wanna put something else on each side of that. Let's do red. So I have a red trapezoid and I think I have two of those. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on the side over here. And this is what the back of the earring is looking like so far. So when we start to put everything on top, it's gonna start to come together. Now, mind you, the earrings probably won't be this long as you see over here because people's necks aren't that long. So I am gonna be mindful and conscious of the limb and how we put it together. And then you could put another jump ring in between and make it double dangles if you wanted to. You could add fringe on here. You can add blue jeans. I mean, the sky is, we, well, the sky is not the limit. The sky is just the beginning. We discussed that, right? <laughs> so let's see, let's put that down. So we're gonna be able to make sure all that stuff um, lays flat when we start pushing from the top. So this is what they look like on the back so far. These are super cute. Wouldn't these be fun to do with kids? Cause they're almost kind of childlike because the colors are sort of primary. I know pink is not a primary color, so. I'm just saying it kind of looks that way. So let's go ahead with what we have laid out over here and let's start putting the top of the earring together. So we're gonna start with, let's see. I wanna put my yellow circle down first. So I'm just gonna start laying some things down. Oh, what I realized though on the other side. Okay, so I have to realize too on the other side that as I'm sticking stuff down, that it's sticky back there. <laughs> so I have to make sure I have something on the other side to offset the balance of the stick. So keep that in mind, because other than that, it's just gonna stick to paper. So I'm gonna put another heart back there. There we go. And what you can do is after we finish putting these all together as well, is you can put a little bit of Elmer's glue. I'm also gonna go back over and be able to put some um, Mod Podge over there as well. And in doing that, that's gonna cover up all the stick. So in other words, if there's some sticky sections that are left open or that are not covered up, that'll be fine because we're gonna cover that up with Mod Podge that down. Now we do, this is gonna be the front, so we do want this side to match up, so that's why we laid everything out already for us to form our design on. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the pink heart down as well. And then we'll just glue our mirror pieces down. after we get going. So that's a light pink heart. So remember in your packaging, like there's two different type pinks, two different shades of pink, I should say. I feel like that one's not perfectly straight, but we're gonna have to leave it like it is. So we'll just make sure to pull it over, maybe stretch it over just a smidge bit. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to separate them, so we'll just make sure it's hanging that way. Okay, so now what we wanna do is just keep going on down the line with our design. I'm not gonna bore you by watching all of it with me. But what I am gonna do is put a few more pieces on here so you can see what it looks like and turn it around and then I'll come back after I got a lot of it glued down. But I think some of you visually want to see it and want to see how it turns out. So I'm not going to cheat you out of that. Like, let's come down with that. Okay. 
So this is what it's looking like so far. So let's keep going. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go glue a few more pieces. And it's funny because I didn't think about how sticky this was gonna be, but this is a really fun project. I don't know, I almost feel like it's therapeutic. So I'll be right back. I actually decided that I'll just let you stay with me and I'll just be quiet. So let's let the music play while we let the music play. It won't get away. <laughs> yeah, I know that song. So I'm gonna let the music play while we glue stuff down together. So I'm gonna be quiet and just gonna start gluing. I meant um, sticking. I will add that once it's down, it's down. There's no moving it. So if you don't have things where you want them after they're stuck down, they're gonna be stuck down.
Okay, so now I wanna make sure that they're going in the same direction and that they're symmetrical as much as possible. So I wanna make sure as I'm putting everything down that it's laying properly. Because remember, we're gonna to wanna to go back and we're gonna put our mirrors on. So we want that to be cute and then we want everything to be the same, so. Huh? I'm sorry, you guys, I had to ask my baby something. Okay, so now we just have a few more that we're gonna add. Because again, I do want it to be a long pair of earrings. I want them to be close to shoulder dusters, but not that long, because not everybody's neck is that long. Or you don't have that much space between there and their neck. So I'm just gonna keep adding a few more pieces and then we're gonna go and add some on the back so we can be sure that everything on the back is lining up like we want it to. And we are cooking with gas. I think these are so cute. I think you can just make so many different things with these foam sheets. And it can be whatever you want. Like I said, you can go, you can put more beads on here if you want to. You can add additional elements. And just get carried away, really, because I feel like I'm getting carried away. <laughs> But again, I feel like it's therapeutic and it's so easy because you're not having to glue anything. And I love the fact that I'm getting to design these earrings. Sorry that the air just popped on so it's kind of loud. These earrings and this set without any glue. And I don't have to smell all that. Don't have to wait for anything to dry. Like how cool is that? A grapevine a little bit right so really pretty I'm gonna pull this one up and I want to make sure they're matching up which they are so we're doing well and so now I want to add these last few pieces and we're gonna be done with the front and I just need to go and fill in the back and in filling in the back the reason why I want to do that is I want to make sure that we don't have 20 million sticky areas open that we need to cover up but again i feel like we can just cover that with mod podge gloss or anything that's going to give like a um that's just going to put a coat over the sticky to make it stop it from being sticky you could do glitter right so if we wanted to go back there and put glitter on we could do that as well So now let's put something right in here and then we'll be done. I don't want to use any more green. I like the idea of using a, a yellow diamond shape. I realized over here somewhere I need to put something closer together let's see what that is I need to close that in oh you guys the place where we stayed over the weekend y'all seriously I thought it was haunted nothing in there gave me any any indication that it was but it, just because it was an older place, it was just like I was creeping out a little bit at a time. So look how pretty those are. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see them. And then from there, sorry my dog just doesn't care that I'm doing the video. Hold on. So look how pretty they are. I like how they turned out. And now we're gonna start to work on the back. And then we're gonna glue down the mirrors and we're gonna be finished. So what I'm gonna do now, aren't they gorgeous? So I'm gonna let them sit here, I'm gonna let them dry, and I wanna let these pieces have a chance to dry, and then after they're dry, we're gonna flip it over, and we're gonna put the gloss on the back, we're gonna add all of the finishings in terms of the jump rings and the eye pins, so we're gonna get that done. 
I already have my Mod Podge sitting over here off to the side. I got my Mod Podge from the Dollar Tree, so we're just gonna use the matte finish. And what we're gonna do is put a finishing touch on the back, two coats, let that dry, so it's gonna have great coverage. And then we'll be finished with these beautiful earrings. Be right. Hey, you guys, okay, so look how they turned out. I'm gonna hold them up so you can see them. Then I'm gonna turn the camera around, look. And then I'm running late. I still have to go meet a client. Look how pretty they turned out. These are literally foam sheet earrings. They are so cute. So I'm gonna turn the um, camera around so you can see what they look like. I hope you love them. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, and hey, keep coming back to see what we're making next. God bless you all, love you.